kiddos, welcome back. So this week I'm going to be talking to you guys about clouds. And this book that we're going to read today is by National Geographic Kids and it is titled Clouds. So remember the parts of our book. Okay. These are called hot air balloons and people can ride it in. They stand in these baskets and they go all the way up into the air. All right, look up, clouds. They float in the sky above, lakes and seas, gracefully billowing in the breeze. Look at all of them. All of these are clouds, all of these white fluffy things. Clouds dapple the skies above country lanes and city streets. They drift over and under high mountain peaks. You guys see all of the clouds over the city and the country and all throughout the mountains. Even these down here are clouds. When can you see clouds? Almost every day. You can see them in the morning and in the afternoon. You can see them at sunrise and sunset, glowing pink, golden pink or rosy red, purple, orange, or blue. Clouds aren't always white, guys. They can be all those different colors that you see here in these pictures. Peekaboo! You can even see clouds at night, playing hide and seek with the moon and stars. You guys see how the clouds are hiding the moon back here? Cloud collection. What are clouds made of? Water! They are made of millions of very tiny water droplets or bits of frozen water called ice crystals that float together in the sky. What do you think ice crystals feel like? Hmm, I wonder. Raindrops are made of water for, or water droplets. Have you ever tried catching raindrops on your tongue? The long white trail left behind by a jet is also a kind of cloud. It's called a contrail. Do you guys see that? Clouds come in many different sizes and shapes. Here are the three main kinds. So there is serious clouds that look like wispy white brush strokes. Stratus clouds look like fuzzy gray blankets stretched across the sky and Columbus clouds, it's cumulus, sorry guys, cumulus clouds look like fluffy balls of cotton. Drip, drop, clouds bring the rain that all plants and animals need to live. Flowers and frogs, trees and tigers all need rain. Rain happens when the water droplets in a cloud dump into each other and stick together. When they become too heavy to float in the sky, they fall down to earth as rain droplets. We had a lot of rain this past weekend, huh guys? When it's cold enough, clouds can bring snow. Snow starts out as ice crystals in a cloud. As the crystals fall through the sky, they stick together and make snowflakes. One kind of cloud piles up high in the sky, towering like a giant castle. These clouds create storms with pouring rain, wild winds, lightning, and thunder. Flash, crash, boom! These are cumulonimbus clouds, also called thunderheads. Can you say cumulonimbus? Apparently Miss Allie can't, so... Cumulonimbus. If you were an eagle, you could fly through a cloud and feel wetness on your feathers. But you don't have to fly to feel a cloud. You can walk through one kind. It's called fog. Fog hangs lower, hangs low over land or water. This is what fog looks like, guys. Cool clouds. 
Whether you're on the ground looking up at clouds or in an airplane looking down at them, clouds are fascinating to watch. Here are some mysterious looking clouds from around the world. These bubble shaped clouds sometimes hang from storm clouds. See those guys? All right. Saucer shaped clouds like this one usually form near mountains. What colors do you see in this cloud? I see a lot of colors, guys. Do you, can you see all those colors? The rainbow colored patch in this cloud is called an iridescence. Can you say iridescence? Sometimes light passing through clouds forms a glowing circle around the moon called a moon dog. That's a silly name, huh, guys? See the circle right here? The morning glory is an enormous roll of light cloud that only forms over Australia. So this only forms all the way over in Australia. We would never see that over here in Oklahoma, guys, because Australia is far, far away from us. When high winds blow, clouds sweep swiftly through the sky, changing shape as they go. Other times, clouds seem as still as statues, but if you keep looking, you'll see them change shape. Clouds are always moving and changing. If you could look at Earth from space, you would see that there are always clouds floating somewhere over the planet. All of this white stuff you guys see here on the globe is our clouds. During the day, clouds block the sun's heat, helping Earth stay cool. At night, clouds act like a blanket, helping Earth stay warm. Thanks, clouds! Clouds bring us the rain we need to live. They fill the sky above us with beauty. How boring the sky would be without them! And this says, be a cloud watcher. Anyone can be a cloud watcher. All you have to do is look up. And it says, what do you see in these clouds? If you watch clouds closely, you can see all kinds of things in them. What shapes do you see in these cloud pictures? I know you guys know what this one is. All right, guys, that's the end of this book. All right, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.